Funeral services are being planned for a transgender woman who was murdered in Milpitas. Now, police say she was stabbed to death on April 23rd. KPI X5's Devin Philly joins us with the story of how the young woman is being remembered. Devin? Yeah, Natalia was just 24 years old. Her family and friends are mourning the loss of the person. They're also mourning the loss of a lifetime of potential that will now never be realized. Family and friends say Natalia commanded a room like she commanded a stage. All eyes and attention drawn to her like a magnet. Natalia was beautiful. She had one of the biggest hearts that you can just ask for, and she would just light up a room as soon as she walked in. Vanessa Singh, Natalia's older sister, says she was a natural-born performer who earned a living as a dancer and drag queen. Now my sister loved to perform, so if anywhere she could get on a stage and drag it out and rock it out, she would be there. But as proud as Natalia's friends and family are of how she lived, they are equally haunted by how she died. Stabbed to death at the Hillview apartment complex in Milpitas, allegedly by her boyfriend, Elijah Cruz Segura. It hurts. I'm outraged. I'm disappointed. It makes me want to hurt harder, but or work harder. But um, there's always this sense of uh, trauma. Sarah Fernando says the trans community is disproportionately affected by violence, sometimes by strangers, and sometimes, apparently, in Natalia's case, by intimate partners. The pain and loss is the same, she says, like a curtain falling on a stage when there is still so much of the story left to be told. For Natalia, she was loved and cherished by this community because there's something about her spirit and her willingness to be authentic and individual that really shine. So Devin, do we know the status of the victim's boyfriend, the alleged killer? Yeah, according to Milpitas police, he actually called 911 and reported this crime and his involvement in it, asking for help. He was arrested and arraigned last week and remains in custody. He does. All right. Devin Feely and Milpitas, thanks so much.